Hi guys, this is a follow-up to my last video where I showed you how to run a, how to run a basic uh, linear regression using the automobile data of Stata. Uh, in this session I just want to briefly address the issue of uh, correlation versus causality. Um, this is often uh, the question when you run a regression is <clears throat> how do you actually interpret the results, what do you actually find? And the important thing to understand is the regression only shows you significant correlations between the dependent and the independent variable. This is, the regression cannot tell you uh, about causality. Now, causality means that A uh, affects B. The regression can only tell you how A correlates with B, in which direction it correlates and whether it significantly correlates. Okay, to get less theoretical, let's uh, have a quick look at this example. Uh, we're just going to go through some output of the regression. and I'll try my best to explain the difference between correlation and causality using this uh, example. Uh, so we started with the command sysuse auto, which just loads the automobile data into uh, status memory. And then we ran a regression uh, where the dependent variable was price and the independent variables were all the other variables in the data set. And what we found was that there were three variables that uh, significantly do correlate with price. Those were weight, this is a positive correlation, and it is significant at the 1% the level. Uh, then we had length, which negatively correlates with price, significant at the 10% level, and then we had foreign, which positively correlates with price, significant at the 1% level. Okay, let's just talk about this very last one. Um, so we see that if foreign goes up by 1, this is a dummy of 0 or 1. So basically, if a uh, car changes from being domestic to being foreign, uh, the car's price uh, goes up by 3,334. Okay, so now this um, <clears throat> this is already a dangerous interpretation, the language I used, that the price goes up because it implies basically that causality. Um, so the thing you have to be careful is, uh, for instance, uh, an omitted variable. So let's assume that the price of the car takes into account some variable that's not listed in here. So, for instance, let's say the car's color. Uh, let's say we're in a country where everybody loves red cars. So what happens is that all the cars that are red have a higher price. Unfortunately, we do not have the variable red in our data set. So we cannot estimate the, directly the effect of red on price. Or of color on price, sorry. Um, now let's further assume that foreign cars are more likely to be red. So what happens then is that if a car is foreign, it is more likely to be red. And as it's more likely to be red, this variable foreign significantly correlates with price. But the fact that the car is foreign actually has no direct effect on price. That's no causal direction. This is just a correlation that we can observe. We see Oh, foreign cars, they are positively, significantly correlated with price, okay? So a foreign car is more expensive. But that's actually not true. The truth here is the causality is that the red car is more expensive. And as the foreign car is more likely to be red, the foreign car is more likely to be expensive. So that's just one issue, and this, is, uh, this whole topic is called endogeneity. And I may, might make another video on this. Um, but I'm no statistics expert, so I'm not sure I can explain it very well, but uh, the omitted variable bias is usually a, a very, very big problem uh, in all kinds of tests that are not perfect experiments. Uh, so if you're not in a chemistry lab, uh, which gives you kind of a really perfect experiment. In social science, um, we always have to deal with endogeneity, and it's, uh, it's very difficult to deal with it. So that's why it's so important to really understand that the regression just shows you the, whether a correlation is significant or not.
and it does not show you what causes what. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say with this video. As always, please uh, leave your comments in the box below. Subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for tuning in. Have a good day. Bye.